hello welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be making a shepherd's pie I haven't made a shepherd's pie in a very long time so today I'm gonna make one and I'm gonna show you how I make a shepherd's pie from scratch I know a lot of people are at home today you have your kids at home a lot of people some people order in but a lot of people are not able to so if you have some potatoes and some ground beef or some ground turkey and you're able to make a shepherd's pie let me show you how simple this is to make okay and healthy when you cook your own food you know exactly what you're eating so today we're making a shepherd's pie I have four potatoes that I'm going to peel now I only have three people here in my family today so I'm cooking for three people so four potatoes is enough for us you would use potatoes based on how much people you have in your family you may have a bigger family may be able to use a five pound bag or so I don't need that much so I'm using four but you will know how much you need how much you need so let's go ahead and peel these potatoes you know how to peel potatoes so you probably don't have to watch me doing this but we're gonna peel these potatoes but let me tell you I'm gonna show you how you can cook healthy for your kids your kids are at home and I'm gonna show you how you can cook a healthy meal for your kids. I with kids every day, and I know how kids want to eat fast foods a lot, and they don't want to eat at home. You cook something, they say, I don't like it. You get them vegetables, and they don't want to eat it. So I'm gonna show you how you can get your kids to eat. You can incorporate some vegetable in here, and you don't have to worry, um, you know about the kids eating the vegetable because the vegetable would already be I used to trick my kids with this all the time when my kids were little and I try to give them carrots and they said to me I don't like carrots I don't want it I said okay I didn't fight with them but they ate carrots they didn't know they were eating carrots but they ate it so I'm gonna tell you don't fight with your kids but make sure your kids eat healthy cook at home and give your kids healthy stuff to eat some carrots in your refrigerator take a couple carrots peel your carrots and I'll show you this one has a, a crack you don't want to put too much carrots because then it started to, to get the carrot taste and then they start to complain so the way we're going to do it, they're not going to taste the carrots. You wash your potatoes. Now I'm going to wash my potatoes. You constantly wash your hands. I started washing I wash my hands before I did this. When I wash my potatoes, you don't have to worry about cutting up your potatoes because you, the next process is going to take a while, so the potatoes will take, will take the time and cook, okay? So now, I have over here a pot, and I have a steamer. So I'm just going to put my potatoes and my carrots in the steamer. I'm not using no salt, anything. So next step is to always, while you're cooking, get yourself a nice glass of wine help you to cook better okay now I have here some ground turkey and what I'm gonna do with my ground turkey is I'm gonna brown it now I'm using turkey because I prefer turkey I don't like a lot of red meat I prefer turkey but you use brown beef whatever kind of brown meat you like feel free to use that I use brown turkey And I'm going to let this turkey brown for a little bit and then um, I'm going to add my seasonings to it. So before I add the seasonings, I'm going to come back and let you see exactly how I do that, okay? Okay, so this is my ground beef that I browned. So you see there's really nothing in here. There was no oil in here that I had to get rid of because this is um, ground turkey okay so let me show you what's the next step now the next step I'm gonna start with my onion cut my onion up first we 
I chop up some onion and I'm going to put this onion in here and these are all the things that I'm going to put into my meat okay so I put that in here stir that in let that cook there for a while I'm going to put this is some celery that I have here I'm going to add some celery to it You can just put everything you can put all this in a bowl I can probably just put everything in a bowl here and when it's done just empty everything in there over here I have some scallions so I'm just gonna chop these up as well you're in the house right now you're not allowed to leave the house because we're all on the we all have to stay in the house so that we don't spread anything to anyone so if you're in the house cook if you've never cooked before people in the house and you're getting depressed and bored don't be depressed think of things to do you know cook this or cook something else whatever you might want you keep yourself busy find things to do I take walks in the evening I have a garden I go outside and play around in the garden. You know, if you don't find, if you keep watching the news, you're gonna get depressed. So don't. I'm not saying not to watch the news, but don't watch it 24/7. You know, because then you just depress yourself. Why do that? You know, find something else to do. If you like knitting, knit. If you like, I don't know, whatever you like doing, writing, drawing, find things to do that. You always say, you know, you work, you say, you know what, I would like to do this, but I never have enough time because I'm always at work and having to pick the kids up and run the kids this place and that place. I never have enough time. Now you have time to do some of those projects. Take your cabinets, open up a cabinet, clean it out, straighten it up, you know, rearrange your bedroom, your living room, something, you know. It don't always have to be in one style all the time. Just rearrange it, make it different. That's what I've been doing, keep myself busy. The TV is off, play music. Music can be very uplifting to the soul. Play some music. Love working in the garden. I don't have a garden here at my house. I have some plants, but not a garden. But where I work, there's a garden at school. It's not very far from me. So I walk over in the evening. I water the garden. I pull some weed. I do stuff. It's just me in the garden. So I'm good. I take my dog with me. And we go over there. And I get to do a few things. Now we put um, adding some garlic right here. Just cut it up. And this here is what I'm going to add to my shepherd's pie. Add all of that in there. And give it a good stir. And then add your seasonings. Add your... No. I add all this stuff here. Look, my ketchup bottle is almost empty. Add some ketchup and now um, I'm gonna add some cabbage to that as well some of these kids don't like to eat vegetable but you can put all this stuff inside the food and they eat it because they have no idea what's in there so you know so now I'm gonna shred this cabbage right here kids don't know they come in I don't Eat that, I don't care. You just give it to them. You don't have to tell them to eat cabbage, just give it to them. They have no idea. And they're gonna eat it and they're gonna get the nourishment. So so far in this meal, they have carrots, they have cabbage, they have potatoes, they have tomatoes in there, they have peppers, they have onions, they have everything in there for nutritious meal. 
And this cabbage looks like a lot, but it's going to cook down. When it cooks down, you're not even going to see it. That's a lot there, but it's going to cook down. Once this, as I said, softens up and cooked down, it will be less in the pot. So I'm going to let it sit here for a while. And once this cooked down, once this cooked down some more, then I'll come back and I'll show you and I'll add whatever seasonings and so on to it, okay? But let it just cook down for a little bit. I'm going to cover it and let it cook down. So I, here I add some ketchup to that. I will be adding some turmeric. Turmeric is in a different bottle, but this is turmeric. Turmeric is very good for you. They say it heals you from the inside out. So I'm adding some turmeric. This is a little all purpose seasoning. I put in there parsley. Put in a little bit of garlic salt. A little black pepper. And I have, this is s -band. This is some pepper sauce all the way from Barbados. We like our spices in this house. Of course, if you have kids, you won't be able to put pepper sauce in there, but I'm not feeding kids today, so I use my pepper sauce. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt. A little bit of Himalayan salt in there. Just a little bit, not too much. And then mix this salt in. Mix it all together. And then once you mix this all together, what you're going to do is you're going to get a spoon and you're going to taste it to see if it is, if the taste is good for you. If it's not, you can add a little bit of something else, whatever you want, until you get it to your taste. Okay? When you mix it in well, so that all those seasonings would go all the way inside. Gotta make sure you mix it well. And see how that cabbage, see it was so much I top, you see how it cooked down? So this is what I add to my, you know, but you can add your other seasonings that you have in the house it doesn't call for any particular seasonings just whatever flavors you like just add your flavors so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to taste this just to see if the taste is right for me so let me taste this If you like seasoning, if you like pepper, you will definitely taste the pepper. If you don't like pepper, I suggest you don't you leave the pepper out. If you're working, giving this to kids, you leave the pepper out. That is perfect. That tastes very good. It doesn't need anything else happening to it. And you can eliminate the curry. I put the curry in here and the turmeric in here because I like the taste of that. So I put a little bit in here, but you don't have to put that in. You can put other stuff in here. Whatever, you know, seasonings that you like. So now this is done. So I have my potatoes here. My potatoes are finished too. I turn off the stove off of that. And I will show you now the next process. So see, my potatoes are cooked. 
So now I'm going to mash the potatoes and I'll assemble this. So I'll be right back to show you how that process is done. Okay, so here is the next step we're going to do. I have some, the potatoes here and the carrots that I cooked a little while ago. So now I'm just going to add a little milk to it. Not a lot, just a little milk. And I'm going to take some butter. And I'm going to add some butter to that. Not a lot, just enough to, to, to mash it. And as you see, I cooked it without um, salt or anything like that because I put salt in the other thing. And we're just going to mash this. That's all we're going to do. See, it's cooked. Had enough time to cook. And mash your carrots in there. So you're cooking for your kids. They have the carrots. Even if you have babies that is now starting to eat, this is good enough. Just some carrots and potatoes just like that and a um, little milk a little bit of butter and there goes a meal for your baby instead of going to buy bottled food this is something that you could cook at home and give the babies and they're now starting to eat that's what you need to do see I didn't put a lot of carrots in here because Sometimes if you put too much carrots, it kind of take on the carrot flavor. And if it has a carrot flavor, you know how if your kids don't like carrots and taste the carrot flavor, they're not going to want to eat it, right? So, we want the kids to eat it, so we're not going to put too much of it in. So you mash, right? You just mash it. If you feel like you need more milk, like if the milk is not enough, you can just put a little more milk in there. and just mash everything together if you want to sprinkle cheese or something in here you can do that I'm not really going to do that I'll just put some cheese at the top oh my arms <laughs> this is a good arm workout and you um you see you mash you got your mashed potatoes there's some carrots inside of it. Okay. So let me show you what the next step is going to be. So now I have my glass bowl. And I am going to just spray it a little bit. Just to stop potatoes and stuff from sticking in there. I'm going to take part of this and put it to the bottom of my dish. Spread it out like that. There we go. Voila. Now I'm going to take my meat sauce. take my meat sauce that I made and just put some on the top and this is a lot of sauce meat sauce that I made so I'm not gonna put all of this on here because this is a lot but sometimes I make this and my older daughter did not like the potato so I would um, leave some of this separate and sometimes I'll cook some rice and then I'll give it this to her with some rice instead of the potato because I had two daughters, one like the potato, the other one did not. So I would always say some separate for her. So this is what you do. You just lay, layer it on top of there. I think that's enough. And then you have this separate. You can save this in the refrigerator. And um, tomorrow this is a dish with rice or, you know, something else that you can make to go along with this if you want to do it that way. Then I'll take the rest of my potato and, and I'm going to just layer this rest of potato right here on the top.
basically that's it. And that's it. And then your next step would be <clears throat> if you have some cheese, like I do. Let me cut a piece of cheese. This is cracker bar cheese because that's a cheese that I like. But again, use whatever cheese you like. Here we got our cheese and I have my grater. And I'm just going to grater some cheese on top of this. And when I put this in the oven, I'm basically just melting the cheese at the top because this is already cooked. So you don't need to cook that again, but I'm going to put this, I would put this in the oven just basically to melt the cheese. I have my oven already heating up, so this should not take that long. And once the cheese is melted at the top, I will come back and show you exactly how it is done. So my shepherd's pie has finished and you know something I really didn't time this but um you know you have plenty of time you're at home you just put it on early and let it take its time to cook now let me serve some of it and show you what it looks like once I cut it it looks it smells good too if you could barely smell it see that's what oh. your potato, you have your vegetable and your meat on the inside and just enjoy i hope seeing me make this shepherd's pie have given you an inspiration to be able to go out and just make one for yourself it's really simple it's really easy if you follow the directions and as i said when i put the meat in there you can use any kind of meat any kind of ground beef that you want you can use any kind of seasonings that you already have in your cabinet i use things that i like seasonings that i like you use what you like but you add some cabbage in there, you add some carrots, some, you can throw some mixed vegetables in there. You can put different things in there that um, you can get the kids to eat. So, until next time, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Until next time, bye-bye.